fellow Kirby fans, what you are witnessing right now is a pre-rendered scene of Kirby starting a very fun adventure. And based on what I can tell, there's a big storm and some type of dark evil floating across the land. I love that expression. <laughs> so this is Kirby and the Forgotten Land. And this is a special, um, a special thing for me because, uh, it's actually not often on this channel that I play a new release. Um, and that's not to say there's nothing wrong with newer games. It's just there hasn't really been a lot of new games that uh, impress me or interest me right now. But of course, uh, this is the exception to the rule. This is a game that uh, ever since it was announced, I've been waiting for it. And so now, we get to check it out and play as Kirby. Um, and I can tell you right now, I, I already like the graphics. I like the, the vivid colors, the lights. Everything about this game just looks really, really good. Kirby himself... I like the uh, animations. He can. He looks like some type of ninja, honestly. You know, just. This game is full of that Kirby charm. So, I'm just gonna do the simple task of uh, collecting coins. Now, um, just for full disclosure. I started playing this game already. I couldn't wait. But, um, I'm not done with the game and I have not beaten it yet. But I wanted to start over from the beginning for the purpose of, uh, these ASMR videos because, uh, I just think that this is a game worth, uh, watching along with ASMR as sort of a backdrop and uh I think I finally figured out how to sort of mix the audio um and it's actually not as difficult as it seems but uh I don't want to get into the technical stuff but let's just say I can now control sort of like my voice, the level of audio for my voice versus the audio in the game. I figured it out. Um, ow, that hurt. So just to give people who may not be familiar with Kirby a little primer, Kirby is a creature that can suck in creatures no matter what size. And what happens is Kirby will suck in some type of uh, enemy, and now Kirby has that enemy's power. So apparently from what we can see, Kirby can do backflips and he can cut grass if you hold in the special button. Kirby can do a powerful attack. Kirby can also sort of do a slide. so. A lot of these moves are very useful. So let's just go through and kind of explore the world. Um, Kirby has some great aerial attacks too. Can't forget about the aerials. And uh, there's these big coins that we can collect. So I'm 
I'm already... <laughs> I I've really enjoyed this game. And you know, it's not... Uh, I don't find the game to be incredibly difficult. Although I am playing on the harder mode. Um, so, I don't know. Um, when I, when I, sorry, I don't know why I can't make this jump. There we go. Um, when I started playing, I played sort of on, like, the easy mode, just to get a feel for the game. This time around, though, I'm playing on the hard mode. Well, I guess hard mode relative to sort of the casual mode. Um, it doesn't seem to be incredibly difficult. Yeah, the sword power rocks. Another thing that Kirby can do is defend himself like this, see? And I love sort of like the acrobatics here. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and this, this is the type of game that seems to award exploration. So, you know, you'll find secrets and collectibles and stuff like that. Um, so, I think I got everything I need here. So, let's check out the cutscene that's about to take place. This is when Kirby realizes his dream of becoming an actual vehicle. And actually, uh, this cutscene was, uh, presented before the game was even released. I remember this one. And it's quite funny because apparently there are some objects that are too big for Kirby. Um, Kirby is unable to actually swallow this completely. But on the bright side, you get to play as a car in this game. You can bust through these boxes and bust through the wall, you know, kind of like, uh, like an action movie, which I find that to be pretty cool. I mean, honestly, who, oh, I didn't know about that. The first time I played through, I don't think I unlocked that part. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, realistically, who wouldn't want to see Kirby in vehicle form? If you ask me, I'm a fan. I am most certainly a fan. Alright, so we've reached a checkpoint, and I think what's going to happen now is we are going to unlock a another sort of cutscene um and in this one i actually might mute the audio i'll have to see actually i can skip it i'm gonna skip it um and i hate to do that but uh there's an actual song that plays and i don't know if it's like a legit like uh like i don't know if it was a song specifically well I'm pretty sure it was specifically made for the game, but it's a song with lyrics, and, uh, you know, as a YouTuber, I have to, I have to be careful, so, um, my Star Wars Lego episodes, some of them, you know, some of them got YouTube's attention, um, and I had to remove audio, blah, 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 that whole story. Anyway, anyway, the, the, the premise of this game appears to be that Kirby has to rescue the Waddle Dees that have been captured. And honestly, these cutscenes are just spectacular. Notice all the detail, like, it's pretty amazing. When you see stuff like this, you realize that games have really have really come a long long way 
So we gotta rescue this uh, creature. So let's go ahead and do that. This should be a breeze. They are just no match at all. Let's try to use a power attack. <laughs> that was pretty... That was pretty epic. And we've rescued our helper in this game. And that's the thing. You know, Kirby games are not very complicated, honestly. But... Trust me, it's probably by design. And naturally, Kirby is going to help. Yep, of course, of course Kirby would volunteer. So, let's do this thing. Let's actually, let's save the day. You know, in this day and age, we need a hero. We need a role model. I would vote for Kirby. Kirby for president. How about that? Okay, so we're gonna just move on and head to the world map. We're gonna see what dangers await us. We're here in the natural plains, so I know some people may be curious, what exactly is the Forgotten Land? And that's a good question. It really does seem like the Forgotten Land is Earth after some cataclysmic destruction. Um, but even in a game like this, you know, this, this sort of post-apocalyptic uh, style, where the buildings are all abandoned and there are no humans to be found. Uh, it still looks beautiful. Like, I just like the colors. I like the shining lights, the reflections. This game is just, I don't know, man. I just love it. Um, and it kind of, the style kind of reminds me of that Zelda game. Uh, what's it called? Mm -hmm. I have to play that sometime, um, but it's one of the Zelda games. It kind of also sort of has this, like, claymation type of look to it, um, and it's actually a great, great game, and I kind of, I've never managed to beat it, but, uh, I do enjoy it. Oh, see, I did not, I did not find that in my first run through of the game. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, and again, when I say run through, I, I haven't actually beaten the game yet. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take this power. That's right. You see it with your own eyes. Kirby is actually a vended machine. And again, you know, I think this is inspirational. I mean, who doesn't want to become a vended machine? Right. I guess uh, in our case, metaphorically, you know, Kirby can literally become a vended machine, but uh, yeah. I don't know what a vended machine would be a metaphor for, but uh, yeah. So we get a bunch of treasure. Well, let's climb this ladder and get ourselves our very first collectible you know do you do you remember those things like when i was a kid we would go to uh this place called fuddruckers i know that seems like a made-up name um especially for my international audience uh fuddruckers was just a restaurant that's all you need to know and uh it was a staple of my childhood. I would go there and, uh, you know, you'd get these delicious burgers. And, uh, you know, if you were a kid, 
you would get this coupon for one free cookie. Um, and the cookies were good. <laughs> but then they also had like this great arcade area. Um, and, you know, sort of around the arcade area, they had these machines where you just put in a token or a quarter or whatever, and you could get these toy prizes, you know? And that's kind of what the Kirby collectible reminds me of. Like, the, the toys would be in this sort of um, plastic capsule, and, you know, it would just be randomized, you know? So you never knew what you were going to get, but you could at least see, you know, the machine filled up with these capsules. And I don't know, that just, that just, that just brings it all back. And I really loved going to Fuddruckers. And maybe some of you will know what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, I, I, I grew up going to places like that and it's, it's weird because I know that arcade machines and, and just arcades in general exist, but it's somehow not the same, you know, um, and there, there's definitely some arcade games that I wish I could, you know, I wish I could show on this channel. Um, I remember playing Gauntlet Legends, which is another great game. Um, I didn't, the arcade version of Gauntlet Legends is kind of, I don't like it as much, but the N64 version is, uh, is really great, and I wish, um, I wish that would be a part of the Nintendo expansion pack because um, that's a game I've been itching to play, uh, especially on this channel. But uh, of course, you know, I'm really happy with the games we have right now. Um, but I hope there's gonna be, you know, I hope there, there will be more games. By the way, some of you, um, might be wondering if, you know, because I'm playing this game, uh, am I, am I gonna stop playing Kirby 64? And I don't plan to stop. My goal is to actually try to beat the game. Uh, so, I don't know how successful I'll be, but, uh, that's basically my goal at this point. Okay, so let's let's try a different power. We're gonna go with the bomb power. Let's see. And I like this because it's very it's very direct. And now we're also going to be fighting a boss. Oh. And he has a shield. So we gotta gotta get him where it hurts, I guess. This is, this is a great power though. <laughs> I like Kirby's acrobatics. It's just so cool. Ooh, shield mode activated. Okay, there we go. We've done it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I can't get enough of this movement. This is great. Oh, that's cool. Alright. So, we've done it. We've rescued a Waddle Dee. So, uh, let's get on the star, see what else there is. I woke up this morning with a stuffy nose, so, uh, if my voice does sound a little bit off, that's probably the reason. But, uh, Quite honestly, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, the bomb power is pretty cool. Let me see if I can... Well, I don't know if I can actually plant a bomb, per se. I mean, I can throw one like that. But I think that's all I can do. Alright. Alright. 
There we go. Nice. Anyway, let me just say, and, and I can't express it enough, like, I really like the creative direction that this game has. Um, like, if I were to develop a video game, I would definitely be proud of developing this one. This, this just looks really nice. You know, there's, there's just a certain visual style that I really like. Um, and, you know, even the, the animations, the little smoke that comes out when Kirby runs, just, I don't know, it, it's great. It's definitely great. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to use sword power. That's right. Because then we're gonna get this, and, whoops. That didn't work. Ah, oh, that looks painful. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff, though. <laughs> Alright. Let's unlock another tulip. I think... So There's there should be one more. I want to get that achievement. And this game, like many games these days, is very, uh... Wait a minute, can I keep this? Yes, I can. Sweet. This game is kind of mission-based. So, you know, some of the missions include uh, collecting things and uh, um, performing certain tasks. So, I just uh, completed one. So we're gonna go up. Oh boy. This looks legitimately dangerous. Oh man. This turtle is serious. Seriously angry. For no good reason. There we go. He weakened it for me. Whoa, the heights. Attack. Wow. Yeah, and it seems like that that lets you know that uh, Kirby's... He means business, right? He's pretty powerful. Alright, so I think we can call this a success. We can also call it a really great game. I have enjoyed it. And not only that, but um, I think we just, we did all the missions for level one, so that's great. Um, and again, I'm gonna try to collect what I can, but this is not going to be necessarily a completionist run. That can be for another time or, you know. Um, but I'm very happy with uh, what I achieved in that level, okay. So we're going to go to the next level uh, in the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching again. Thank you for your support. I'm glad that this is possible. And uh, I will definitely keep up the uh, Kirby content. So I hope you all have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>